Today, we're using Process Lasso to make a few optimizations on our CPU in order to hopefully boost our frame rate. As after seeing the high FPS people get while using it, I can now understand why pros like Tens have been using it for so long. I have this right here. But firstly, what even is it? Process Lasso is basically a more advanced task manager. You can see here on screen, they do look very, very similar. They also work kind of in the same way. Like for example, in Task Manager, you can set CPU affinities for specific processes and you can do the same in process lasso it's just a lot easier and permanent however there is much more you can do inside of this application and I'm basically going to cover the most popular optimizations that people do within it but quick disclaimer the performance gains from these optimizations will differ from PC to PC and I can't lie with my very high end PC the performance did seem pretty much the exact same but that's not to say that the case will be the same for you so feel free to try these out and if you get any sort of issues you can simply revert back to set up a restore point just go onto your start menu type in restore point then choose create a restore point you then want to click on that create button type in something like process lasso as just a reference and then if you encounter any issues you can go back into system restore find your restore point and simply go back to what it was before and after you've done that if you actually google process lasso select the bitsum.com link you'll see that this is the official page where you can see it's a real-time CPU optimization program where you can download for free. And once you have opened up the application, you can see it does look very complex, but it really isn't. As the first thing you want to do is go to the top left corner under main and make sure the manage processes of all users is selected. In addition to that, I also find that having the pro balance disabled works better for myself and the majority of people out there. However, some people do have this enabled. It's something you need to test out. After you've set up that though, if you head over to options, then go into CPU, under where it says pro balanced, if you are disabling this, make sure it's also unchecked or disabled in here as well. From there, you can go back into options and under general, if you configure the startup, you can actually make this open when you're PC boots, which I do recommend. And finally, if you go ahead and select the force mode, what this will do is it'll continuously reapply the settings, which basically makes everything be saved. And if you go to the bottom right of your computer, you'll see that it's there in your taskbar. Once you're back in the application though, what you want to do next is open the game of your choice. So mine's going to be Fortnite. Then you want to head back into the software and you actually want to use the search bar right here on the right to type in the game of your choice. So if I type in Fortnite here, most people think this is the one you configure, but it isn't. It's actually the client Win64 shipping. So once you've found this specific process right here, you firstly want to right click on it. Where it says CPU priority, what we're going to do is go under always and set it from the default none, or if anything, it might be on normal. We're going to go ahead and change it to high. And this will change the priority class to high. So it is a high priority rather than just for normal. And yes, I am aware you can do this in the task manager. If you go into details, find the game, right click on it, set the priority to high. However, the problem with doing this is it's not permanent. And when you do restart your system or even the game, this will get restarted set back to the default normal but in process lasso under cpu priority we've got the current one which is basically the task manager one or we've got always which will always set it too high so that's the one you want to select another thing people tend to do is right click on it again but this time select the i slash o priority and under where it says always they tend to set this from the default none or it might be on normal too high as well and what this sentence for is for your peripherals or devices so your mouse your keyboard or your controller and people have claimed that setting this too high does lower your latency but i myself from testing haven't really felt a difference at all so i think it is a little bit placebo so if you do want to change this back you can literally just go back onto none if you want. Another very popular thing people tend to do is find the game itself. Remember that's a Win64 shipping and this time they go into CPU affinity and they go under the always tab right here and where it says disable hyperthreading it actually might say hyperthreading for intel then smt for amd it'll give you the option to disable both of them what they tend to do is actually disable it which if i press it right here then go back inside you can see that it's disabled some of my cpu performance cores and it's sort of done it in this even like fashion right here and to be fair there seems to be this huge debate on whether or not hyperthreading actually boosts performance some people claim 
bit of boosts performance if they disable it. And then some people have also claimed that it boosts performance if they go ahead and have it enabled like so. So it's one of them things you can try out and sort of benchmark yourself to see if it sort of makes any difference. However, for myself, I like to just go ahead and keep hyperthreading on for now as I've tried it and there really wasn't any difference at all. Another popular thing people tend to do is find the client of their game again. They right click on it, but this time they go into power mode. And as you can see, by default, it's on none, but most people like to actually select high performance or what I've found even better than that is balanced high performance overlay and they'll actually select one of them and if I go ahead and select it right now you can see that it changes up here or it will do yep there it is right there and that's how you know it's been like sort of activated and the final thing people like to do is find their client yet again they right click on it and this time under where it says CPU affinity they go into always and they select a custom CPU affinity. And inside here, you can see it may look confusing, but it isn't. On the left side here, the two columns, you've got your performance cores, and then where it says E next to them, you've got your efficiency cores. And what people tend to do with these is they select their main game, which we just have, Fortnite, you can do it with Valorant, Minecraft, whatever, they go ahead and only select their performance cores for the game itself. And you can see that unchecks all their efficient cores. They then press OK. And then what they do is they head over to their background applications that run in the background. And the popular one is Discord. Now Discord will show a lot of them. Just make sure you select the top one. They right click on it. They go into the CPU affinity under always then select it. And for all of these background applications like Discord, for example, they'll go ahead and deselect all the performance cores and only run the efficiency cores for the background apps like Discord, Steam and Epic Games. So if we're going to Epic Games, for example, find the launcher, right click on it, CPU Affinity, go into Always, then select it. They'll go ahead and deselect the performance cores and only use the E cores. But don't forget, they also make sure that the CPU Affinity is set up to be performance cores on the game itself. Apparently doing that process right there does in fact minimize your stutters in game, but it's something you should test out for yourselves and see if it works. If it doesn't, you can go back and revert it all. It's really simple. Just find the one that you want to revert, right click on it, go into CPU affinity, always, then select none, and you'll get it back to default like so. But those optimizations right there will be active unless you do uninstall the program, which if you do want to uninstall, just type in add and you should find the add or remove programs option. And then at the top, you should find the process lasso, which you can go on the these three horizontal dots and uninstall. Before that, go ahead and try this out in game to see if it does boost your performance or even lower your input delay. If it does, you can go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Do remember though that the results will vary on different computers from low end to medium end to high end. So all you can do is give it a try and see the results for yourselves. However, before you do leave, feel free to check out any of my other videos that are on screen right now.